hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to pass a grid view variables to the next page with purely SEO friendly URLs right now if you notice my website the page grid view pass variables dot ASPX page contains a grid view with some images so when I click the image name now in the second page grid view result page dot aspx the question mark image name is equals to hulk which is not the SEO friendly URL now my aim is I want to write a URL which does not contain any page extensions or special characters like question mark is equals to now let's go back to my asp.net project we will rewrite this URL to search engine friendly now I'm in the source code of grid view pass variables dot ASPX which is the first page the grid view pass variables dot ASPX the first page which contains a grid view now I'm deleting this grid view I'll write a new code after that I will upload the files into my remote server we will check the passing URL variables are SEO friendly or not the first step to write in SEO URLs, we need to open the global.asx file. Routes dot mappage route, which contains three parameters. In the first parameter, the route name, you any name is uh, grid view grid view pass is the route name and the second one in and the second parameter grid view images now the second parameter grid view hyphen images is the new URL which I am not giving any kind of extensions and the third parameter is need to give the path the path is grid view pass variables we copy it and paste here f6 and this roads dot map page road code. the first parameter is a road name and second one is new URL it's a new URL now the third one is old URL now go back to grid view dot ASPX design page drag and drop the grid view control the code is columns sp bounded field data field item style width is equals to 30 close it here the first bound field contains the ID values and the second one is the image so the next step is we need to add the image field ASP, ASP image field data image URL field and the another property is header style width header style header style width is equals to 100 So the third field is we need to create the hyperlink column ASP hyperlink field text is equals to the text is click for the image name I'm copying paste here 
that can navigate your films and data navigate URL format string ok now see the data field is is the id this id image data navigate URL field so I want to get that the image name copy the image name paste here the data navigate URL format string takes a URL parameters but my second page is grid view result page dot ASPX which is a second page grid view result page dot ASPX now we have to read at this page go to global dot ASPX page enter copy paste here so the path is grid view result page dot ASPX copy it paste here and this grid view images delete this thing I want to give the grid view result grid view the result of this URL so now is grid image result routing name give anything any name now here the strictest part is so curly brackets make it zero now copy this grid view results grid view pass variables paste here it's a url path here the grid view is auto generate columns is equal to false Now the page one grid view pass variables dot ASPX page is done. Now second one is grid view results page dot ASPX, which I need one label. I'm adding a label control. The image name is. Now go to code behind. If not, is post back label image name dot text is equals to this dot page road data dot values. zero dot to string f6 build the project now everything is good now it's time to upload these two pages into my remote server ok now I'm in the filezilla ftp software connect the remote server to transfer my local site files to remote site I'm connecting FileZilla go to HTTP docs on the file server 
grid view pass variables to these four files enter and one more file is global.asx file refresh the page I will check in the website the passing variables from the grid view is SEO friendly or not go to the browser here it is the grid view with images and with one hyperlink sorry about that the image height and width I have not set which is not important in this video my main intention is uh, URLs we already set a new URL for this grid view pass variables xpx page without extension which is this page grid view images it's a new URL remove this old page name and press enter yep it's working now you see the grid view iPhone images does not have any extension now we'll pass the variables click for the image name see the grid view result hulk now I don't have any question mark the page extension is equals to we'll check the second image also uh, Superman grid view results Superman that's it thanks for visiting my channel if you like this video Please leave your valuable comment, share this video and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.